rising penetration of smartphones and high-speed internet, coupled with the lack of more formal brick-and-mortar retailers, is changing the way that many Ghanaians shop. Online shopping remains a novel concept here and across much of Africa, yet its long-term potential is massive. Ghana, Sub-Saharan Africa's first independent state. Like many countries on the continent, it is home to a growing middle class, driven by years of economic growth and integration into global markets. Accra, the seaside capital, is home to an estimated 4 million people and has long been a major hub of commerce. In the city's sprawling outdoor markets, consumers can find everything from fans and plastic kitchenware to live crabs and local kente fabrics, sold from sidewalks, partially covered stalls, or the tops of women's heads. In Accra, although most streets are well marked, a majority of buildings lack numbers, and few people use the official address system. Delivery drivers, therefore, generally navigate by landmark. I experienced this firsthand as I accompanied Michael Ashong, a driver for the Groupon style deal site Tisu, on his daily rounds within the city. In five years as a taxi driver and now delivery man, Ashong says he's never used a map. Although Ashong delivers by hatchback, Tisu's other drivers travel the city on motorbike, which can more easily weave in and out of traffic. Most have a mental inventory of Accra's back roads, some of which are unpaved or full of potholes, in order to avoid congestion. Is this where shopping in Africa is headed? E-commerce in countries like Ghana is still in its infancy and focused almost entirely in urban areas. However, slowly though, ordering online is making inroads and opening up a new range of possibilities for Africa's growing consumer markets.